But I know another group that has no religious ties at all, that all of you can easily research on the internet, and if not at the public library, there's tons of stuff about them. In northwestern Spain, uh, in the Basque country, there's a, a kind of philosophical colony who has a cooperative economy called the, I can't pronounce it, but Mondrian or Mondragon it looks like in print. Have any of you heard of the place? Interesting thing is, it's the same size as the old order Amish. The only difference is they're pretty much free thinkers, as they're called. They don't have religious glue holding them together. They have philosophical glue, however, that nobody should grow up to think that a job is something somebody else gives you. And your imagination should be fully developed and you should have multiple competencies so whatever situation you find yourself in, you can quickly become useful in that situation, whether it's social chaos or, or you know, some semi-Gestapo. Uh, let me just finish that sentence. I'll get you you're, you're right next. Uh, so, It has to collapse, because to change it without a collapse requires you to believe that by decent negotiation, by the development of a superior argument, that people who have status or power or comfort will say, you're right, here, take my stuff, take my, come on. It's not ever going to happen anywhere. Oh man, are you wrong? I mean, I would dispute what you're saying. It's in an acute state of collapse right now. We cover up the collapse. When you hear about the climate inside of a school being dangerous, you have no idea what's going on in these schools because the press knows better than to actually open the door and let you see. I mean, you've got, if you want to survive with a relationship with your kids, then you're, you're out of your mind to send them through schools because if they reach the last stage and they still love mommy and daddy and family or believe in God or a whole lot of other things, they have been so seriously marginalized there that no one will ever associate with them again and they'll be tabbed. The, the degree of surveillance in the country, for example, you don't have to be one of these conspiracy theorists. The evidence is all around. Uh, how many of you homeschool? Probably the most famous homeschooling family of the last 30 years are the Colfaxes uh, in Northern California in Boonville. Be, be absolutely my guess in saying that we're old friends, call them up and, uh, and, and chat with them. They, they, they were blackballed, the guy was a college professor with a moderately lefty outlook. I'm, I'm deliberately saying lefty to be slightly contemptuous. I don't believe in ideologies of any side at all. People who are ideological don't understand that Phyllis Schlafly is one of the few free people I've met in 30 years. She's a pleasure to talk to. Her mind crackles with ideas. You don't agree with everyone. It doesn't matter. If you did agree with everyone, you don't want to associate with people whose ideas you agree with everyone. Phyllis is a lawyer running a national organization that's potent of a quarter of a million women who otherwise, you know, the ladies who dye their hair is blue, uh, you wouldn't have much to do, and now she's given them significance. I said, Phyllis, how did you ever get to be a lawyer? Because she started out working on a machine gun assembly line during the Second World War. She said, when people asked me what I want to do when I got older, I said, I want to be a lawyer, and they all laughed at me, and they said, women can't be lawyers. 
She says, right there and then, I decided I would show them. So she's done all these really amazing accomplishments. She has 11 children, 11 children, one of whom's gay and never repudiated the gay son. You know, the, the Phyllis Schlafly the press presents to you, or Alfie Cohn will present to you, it's not the living woman who would be a good ally of what you're all trying to do. Sorry, uh, yes ma'am. I get carried away. 